I am so excited for this new rug. Good morning, Leah. <laughs> Mon on Sammy boy. That's right, a double field pandy soul. It is bomb diggity. I'm having a moment here. My friend wanted to start a pandy soul business and he has a cheese filled one, a regular one. I think he's got some other options. I think Judy was the one that mentioned an adobo stuffed pandy soul. So he did it and it's very popular. I'll put the link to his Instagram. Uh, he just runs everything out of his own kitchen. I think he's in the like LA area. Always sells out every week. I mean, it'd be probably pretty difficult to get these, but hopefully he expands. So good. Good job, Sammy. Good morning. I've got a lot on my mind right now because this weekend is a big weekend. It's mama's 60th birthday and is also the twins seventh birthday which is nuts last year i was contemplating even setting up a, like a big party for mom like um like renting out a venue and then inviting guests from out of town and then i was like hmm i wonder if the virus would be done by then we fast forward a whole year later things are starting to open up but still not confidently enough to throw a huge party of like even a hundred guests so instead, we're gonna have a very small gathering here at home. I don't know, I'm thinking maybe 10 people and then everyone's just gonna wear a mask. So we're gonna open up the backyard and just have plenty of space for everybody. So that's kind of the plan. Good morning, boo-boo. Anyways, I'm really excited because this is a perfect opportunity for us to get our new rug finally. We just need a new area rug for the living room. This one that we've had since we moved here eight years ago has been shedding like crazy. Again, if you've been following, you've seen the rug disintegrate like pretty bad and the shedding is, is insane. And I checked the weather for this weekend and it's gonna be not nice like today's the sunny day that'd be awesome if it was a day like today it's gonna be partly cloudy with a 50 percent chance of rain we do have a cover in our backyard so it'll work it's also mia and kira's birthday and unfortunately we're not inviting any of their friends but the kids understand <laughs> What should we wear, Leah? Oh my gosh, guys, she fits into our 12 month clothes! Holy hell. You're going up too fast. Anyway, for the party, me and Kira said they wanted a Minecraft theme, so I bought some Minecraft stuff. I already ordered mom's cake. Um, I'm like, I'm excited for this whole little planning situation. It's been a while. Hi. Yeah, um, how are these organized? Is it just by size? Oh, yeah, it is just by size. Yeah, I'll just look around here. Thank okay. you. Yeah. And you can always um, just double check the. Uh, oh, perfect. These are facing forward. <laughs> and then the. Oh, yeah, and these are all the prices. Thank you. I think the one we have right now is 8 by 11. Oh, this one's pretty nice. Huh, I wonder if we should go with a fluffy one. The fluffy one kind of feels nice. Hmm. These prices are not bad at all. <laughs> Why was I expecting like at least $500? Okay, so I'm torn between a Landon, Shoreline, or a Palladium. Palladium. I think I'm gonna go for more of a shaggy one this time. T 
two reasons. Cleanup wise, it just seems like it'd be an easier cleanup. And also, I feel like it'll just be more enjoyable to sit on. So at first I thought I'd have Benji bring his truck. He would haul the rug back home, but I just asked and I'm like, do you think this will fit in my SUV? A nice kid carried it all the way out for me. I ended up getting the shaggy one because I think I'm over floral, the like the whole flower thing. Right now our rug kind of has like the floral shapes. So this one, this one looks better. I am so excited for this new rug. I'm a vacuum this one, roll it up. This is officially the last time I'm vacuuming this rug. Daddy. Look at that! Look how much! How? Wait, that's the rug? Yeah! Bye Felicia! Yeah. Bye rug! So while we're moving stuff, I figure this is a great time to do some deep cleaning. Get rid of a bunch of stuff that just is not sparking joy. Thanks Marie Kondo. And I'm thinking about rearranging the sofas. <laughs> But then I, I literally cannot vision it any other way that's practical. It's not like we have that much space. The photo. What? Oh, you go back. I'm going back. I, I can't come in. Nira. Mia, help me with this. With what? Come on. Mm -hmm. Farfalla. The girls want some fettuccine alfredo, so we're gonna put some bacon in it, onions, mushrooms to spruce it up. Of course, I'm gonna get a bechamel going. Also, I don't know if it's necessary, but I do have truffle oil along with some chives. Yeah.
the whole house smells like an olive garden. <laughs> Don't be offended by that, okay? It smells good. It smells like a restaurant. I'm gonna add pineapple pasta too. Mmm. It's very delicious. Thank you. Yeah, it's good. Thank you, honey. <gasps> you know what this reminds me of? Claim jumpers. Black Thai pasta. Don't scratch me in the face, okay? Don't, don't scratch me in the face, okay? Ow! 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 I love this rug. Oh my gosh, I feel like this rug just fits in so well. It's just so soft. It smells like a really clean hotel. <laughs> Juliana said it has Airbnb vibes. I don't know what that means, but that's what she thinks of it. This is a slightly smaller rug. I think it's about a foot smaller. So we have more room in the dining area. Not that it felt crowded before, but it's nice to see a little bit more open space. There's only one mango left. Usually when there's only one of something, I just eat it. If there's like two or three, I'll save it for the girls and just divide it for three of them. But since there's just one, it's mommy's. That's usually how it goes. If there's one of anything left, it's mommy's <laughs> or daddy's. Is that daddy or is it the girls? Honey? Are you sleepwalking? I heard him talking. Who's he talking to? <laughs> it's 9.30. The girls have been sleeping. Benji went down early. I just went for a ride on the Peloton. And then when I saw that he fell asleep, I'm like, okay, I'll just watch some YouTube, clean the kitchen. Enjoy this mango. I always want to eat it like this. This is like a perfectly ripe mango. Maybe a little overripe, but it's sweet and it's ready. And it's been sitting in our pantry for the longest time. So I was just tired of sour mangoes. I feel like I'm a vampire eating a heart or something. Mm. Oh, that is so good. Mmm. I feel like the twins right now. Mm. It's probably the best mango I've ever had. It's so juicy. Mm. I love that I could just be messy with it. Now, do you guys eat mangoes like this? I should do this for the girls one day. Just let them go ham. <gasps> oh my God, honey. You scared me. Why? I, I thought you were sleeping. I know, but somebody comes in and goes, Honey? <laughs> Who are you talking to? Honey? Honey, come here, enjoy this. You need to enjoy this. 20 times better when you just eat it like this. What do you mean, um, who was I talking to? I was sleeping. I just heard you talking. No, you said something, like, a minute ago upstairs. No, Honey? No, I didn't say anything. I heard your voice. I didn't say anything. Okay. Here, you want to try this? Mm. Isn't it so good? It's like eating <laughs> Honey. What? We've got some overripe bananas. Guess what I'm going to do with that? Oh, wow. I already know. Oh, it's perfect. Okay, we'll dig in tomorrow morning.